Your dog bolts out the door as soon as a crack in it shows, so excited to get out on the other side that you can barely hold on to the leash. Well, today I want to change all that. Today we're going to learn how to teach manners, safety, and control with your dog. Stick with me because by the end of the video, you'll know how exactly to train your dog to wait at doors and I promise you it's easier than you think. Dog that barrels out the door can trip you or knock over children and maybe once outside they spot something going by. Maybe it's their trigger, a dog or a person and that then could become a reactive or aggressive behavior because they're already over aroused. If your dog darts out into the street and they're not on leash, they could get hit by a car or they could run and chase a cyclist or a pedestrian. The sudden yank of a leash or the force of the dog's weight against a leash can cause significant injuries to you or the dog. You could end up with a shoulder, neck, or back injury, or your dog could have significant damage to the neck if the leash is on their collar. By teaching your dog to wait at doors, you prevent these risks and ensure that stepping outside is calm and controlled, keeping both your dog, you, and your family safe. So now that we know why it's important, let's dive into the how. So grab some high value treats, something your dog really loves, and let's get started. You're going to want to start inside the house with your dog on a leash and harness. So start with a door that isn't that exciting. Maybe it's a back door to a yard. Maybe it's a door just to the garage. Make sure that there's nothing exciting happening on the other side. Approach the door, stand with your back to the door and face your dog. Then you're going to reach for the doorknob behind you but don't open it yet. The goal is just to test to see if your dog is going to get up when they hear you touch the doorknob. If they do, you're gonna ask them to sit and reinforce the sit. If they do stay seated, great, give them a treat and praise and you repeat that until you know that you can touch the doorknob several times and your dog will remain calm and seated. The next step is to slowly open the door, but only a crack and only the width of your body. This takes up the space and it prevents your dog from going and pushing around you. Watch your dog closely. If they stand up or move, calmly close the door and ask for a sit again. Remember, this isn't about punishing or adding or knowing your dog. It's about teaching them that the door doesn't open unless they're seated patiently. So here's a quick tip. If you're finding the process a bit challenging and you need more guidance and want more help on teaching your dog to stay calm and controlled, then I've got a free guide just for you. Click the link in the description below to grab your free dog training guide, Wait and Free where I break down more steps to create a well-mannered and responsive dog. Next, we're gonna add turning in your body and adding a release cue. So once your dog is sitting calmly with the door open, you're gonna turn your body so that you're opening up more space for your dog to see the outside. Now, this is really tricky because your dog now is more excited because they see that opening. If they get up, you just simply turn your body back to face them, blocking the door, and wait for them to sit. Reward them for sitting. Then turn your body again and reward them for sitting as you have turned your body. Repeat this a few times until your dog doesn't get up when you turn your body and they still can see the outside. Now it's time to introduce a release cue. This means that they're all done and they're allowed to get up and move. Choose a word like free or all done, something that's different than let's go because that generally means stop sniffing and let's keep walking. When you introduce that release cue, you're going to motion with your hand a movement that says that they're allowed to move past the doorway. Then we add in the finale. We're gonna ask for a sit on the other side of the door. 
This again helps your dog learn to wait and be calm until you're both ready to go. You're going to reward your dog with the treat and praise when they're sitting on the other side. Your dog is now ready to begin the walk and you can release them from that sick cue and you both can walk now with confidence and control. Now that your dog understands the basic command, it's time to practice at all exits, all doorways, a back door, a car door, their crate. You can even use this to prevent big dogs from running up or down the steps, knocking people over. The more that you practice in different environments, the more do your dog will generalize this behavior and understand that they need to wait at all areas of exits or entries with consistency and practice at all areas of entries and exits, your dog is going to learn to stay calm at the door and guess what's going to happen? This is going to become a manner. It's going to become a default behavior in which you're not going to have to tell them and ask them every time. They're automatically going to do it. And this is just going to make daily life so much smoother and safer for the both of you. I hope you found this helpful. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button for more training tips and drop a comment below. Let me know how you're doing or what might be a struggle for you. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget that if you do need more help or want to dive a little bit more deeper into training your dog, check out that free PDF link below. It's packed with some helpful tips and helping you work on that weight and release process.